Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, uh, over the uh, recent past, when speaking to uh, many of the great and the good and the talented of uh, uh, music uh, from Ireland. So I've got a gentleman now who uh, certainly has uh, uh, cut his teeth and uh, come up in the music world and is going an absolute uh, storm and uh, quite literally storming out of uh, the COVID lockdown times uh, with uh, a busy diary on his hands at the moment and uh, great to see it. From uh, the west of uh, County Cavan, I'm delighted to say hello to the one and only Eamon Jackson. Eamon, how are you? Hey, Jerry, how are you getting on? <laughs> not bad at all, not bad, eh? But listen, great to, great to have you along. Uh, you, you, uh, you, you survived uh, COVID and all the rest of it. Well, just about, just about, you know, it was, a, it was an uphill battle, wasn't it? It, it, was a, it, was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a long, nearly two years, you, make, you might call it, you know. But uh, yeah, we finished off our last gig away up in Mudge Connacht, up the far side of uh, Virginia, and we were coming home, and we said, actually, oh, we'll, we'll only be off the road maybe a, about two or three weeks, but. It, it dragged on a wee bit longer than that. Indeed, it certainly did. It certainly did. And uh, it, it yeah. must, it, 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 it's, it really is tough going, uh, you know, for, for singers, you know, musicians to be, uh, you know, to be off the road like that, to be suddenly, uh, you know, uh, busy and, and then just suddenly overnight, everything is gone. It, it is, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a kind of a, I suppose musicians or, or, or artists are probably immune to the, to the, to the, to the, to the road, you know, and, and, and more or less new into the buzz and meeting the people and and, and and having a crack with them and 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 of course it's it's great to see people enjoying themselves and and it gives you a better buzz when they are enjoying themselves you know but uh, yeah and and it's and it's even just as hard to get back into it too because you know the way you be, you get set in your ways and, and and when you're kind of thinking oh will I remember what to do here <laughs> different parts. And, and just getting back on the road and once you get the first gig over your your grand then you know indeed so indeed so it is a, it is a very strange thing uh, for you know for to be off for so long and start off again I'll have to admit that uh, definitely is you know yeah. uh, you know if, for, for doing anything because it's totally you, you you know it's a long long time actually to be uh, you know to be away from something definitely yeah well you, you know you get into you get into a routine Jerry and, 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 and it just comes like second nature you know uh, when, when you're ready to uh, burst into a song uh, you, you say to yourself am I going to remember this or not but it, it just comes back to you on the spur of the moment whatever's about it it's, it's, I don't know what kind of a talent it is but I'm sure every artist has that but uh, it, it's it, it's a strange thing like you know and and it's, it's, well, look, it's great to be back on the road again and, and, and the day we're filling up well thank God that's excellent, but but you've had a you know you've had a long career as uh, the the midnight cowboy. You're known as uh, uh, more so, and uh, you had a, a, you know you had a long long uh, amount of success there. I had yeah, and, and even be- going back before that, Jerry, I I had a I had a long career even as as nuns on their own. I used to have a karaoke show years ago, and I mind I mind first of all when when I when I started before I even started hitting the road at all uh, as a youngster, even when I was maybe seven or eight or nine, I used to cycle down to the pub here beside me and sit on a beer keg outside the back door listening to the music inside the door on the stage. Right, right. <laughs> a true, a true, a true, true and, music fan. Yeah, and, 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 and there, used, there used to be an SOS out for me. Didn't know where I was going to. Me away on my bicycle and, and just sit, sit and listen to the music, you know. So, the, the, suppose the, 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 the urge was there all the time and... and of course, I, I got that wee bit older, and 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 uh, I I got I got the good courage to go on stage, or uh, and it it, it snowball from there, you know. Indeed, indeed, it certainly has. And uh, you, you you know you've you, you've uh, you've travelled. Uh, one thing about yourself is uh, you, you travel quite uh, quite some distance. I mean, you don't just uh, you know perform uh, in your local area. Oh God, not at all. No, I'll be all, I'll be all over Ireland. I'm actually way down in in, in Glen, Glen tomorrow night. And and uh, we're all over the place, you know, and over the UK, Scotland, Spain, right. <laughs> you name it, we've been there. <laughs> you did, you did, you did, you have. Hey, now, you, listen, you've, you've recorded, you've, you've recorded uh, uh, songs with an incredible beat to them, you know, they've really got a dancing beat. And uh, one of the songs which uh, you, you recorded, I'll have to say, is one, one of my favourites, and it really is a great recording of Dancing in the Dark. Oh yeah, that was an old Bruce Springsteen song. Yeah, uh, I brought that into the studio, and um, we, 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 we kind of changed changed the range of it a wee bit, and, and and got that kind of a jive 
beat to it, you know, and it is it is a great jiving song, you know, and it it done very very well for me on the, on the stations and 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 uh, it went down very very well, you know. But uh, it's, it's it it kind of brings you back to memories of years and years ago when you were dancing to Bruce Springsteen. Indeed, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I mean, uh, you, you know, I must say that the, the songs uh, the songs have been very I mean, all of the material you, you've recorded has been very very cleverly chosen. I mean, you you, you recorded the likes of the Molly Kintyre from the seventies. Uh, you know the likes of the water, right. the old classic uh, Gypsy Woman, uh, Water for My Horses. Uh, you know, right up to slightly yeah. more, you know, country roads. Right up to sort of, uh, uh, you know, more, uh, uh, more modern progressive ones like uh, Day Job and uh, Country Track. And yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, and I, I done another one there from Don Williams too, which was uh, I would like to see you again, which was which done very very well for me. It actually, it become a hit there for me. Uh, that that the the, the, the uh, the single before the the previous one there, you know, it done very very well and got a great airplay and it's, uh, it's been requested every night I work on stage, you know. That's a, absolutely. So it's great. It's great to see requests like that coming in, you know. So you, you know you have something something good in your hand when you when you, when you hear them shouting for it, you know. <laughs> indeed, indeed so, indeed so. Uh, you know, you've you, you've certainly been, you've been through the the, the the ups and the downs of the music, uh, indeed over the uh, over the years, and uh, you still you know you still and it's great to see it uh, that you're coming out flying high after after the, the after it all indeed and, and uh, post uh, COVID times. Yeah, yeah. So sure, look at there's, there's always lots of humps and bumps on the road, yeah, but thank God the council's pretty good now, and they're, they're making them better. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Hey, t- tell me, I mean, who who is the who is the people that sort of influenced you uh, most in, in in music? Well, it's, it's it's hard to tell, you know, because there, there wasn't that much. Uh, well, there was be, would be music in my family, all right. But probably my grandfather used to be do a little bit of singing. He never was on the road or anything like that. Just a kind of pub singing and and, and and kind of sitting on the corner. That that kind of a. But I I was always a big fan of country music. Even when we used to come home from mass in the mornings. I, mommy would be in cooking the breakfast well, and I'd be only about six or seven at the time or before that even I used to be always listening to the to the country stations all the time and and you know le- le- learning songs at that age like you know it was it, it was a strange thing but uh, uh, thank God <laughs> thank God I, I kept at it and and, and uh, me, it was always my dream to 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 perform on stage, and uh, I get a great buzz from entertaining. You know, it, it's it's something there's something about it. Is it just gives me a great buzz. I love to see people happy and, and dancing and enjoying themselves. You know, and it, it's 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 a great feeling. Indeed, indeed, I bet it is, and uh, you're well done. Uh, we, you're well done on it all. You know, it's uh, great to see. But I'm um, listen. Your 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 latest song. Uh, is a, is a rather interesting one. I can tell you, it's uh, proving incredibly popular. It's uh, of uh, all things interesting. It's called the dawning of the day. I've played it many times. Yeah. Well, I I, have been, I, I was list, I was listening to several songs, and, and I wanted something. I wanted to do a waltz of some description, and I, I wanted to do something that it was a kind of known, but change change changes around a wee bit, you know. And we brought it into the studio, and. Uh, we 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 uh, we we done a few things with it and and, and got it into it. It's a nice wee waltz, like you know. And uh, I got it from the net actually. It was something like Ragnar Road, uh, Dawning of the Day, or and it 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 came out pretty well now. And and God, it's it's getting some airplay and it's it's it's, it's huge now at the minute. You know. Indeed, indeed, it's uh, I must say absolutely uh, fantastic, and I think one of the, uh, the things about it is the actual uh, uh, the arrangement and uh, you know the musical instruments that's included in it. That's right. Yeah, the little bit of tin whistle there on the banjo, and, and, and it, it, it 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 come out, and it's still very Irishy, you know. Indeed, it is. Even though it's back to country, <laughs> country step, you know, a waltz, you know, but it, it's still we kept that Irish feel to it, you know. It, it came out very well, and, and it's one of them songs that. It's one. It's one of them songs that that relates to a lot of people, and even I, I've been talking to people just before I, I finished it off, and, and they were asking me what what it was a recording, and, and I said the dawning of the day, and, and God, that's the first song I've ever I learned, <laughs> and, yes. and that that's a, humorous of people said that to me, you know, and, and uh, it it they'll, they'll always remember the song, you know, the dawning of the day. 
<laughs> indeed, indeed. So, and well, you know, well done on 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 having uh, having uh, you know having done it on uh, you know going uh, going an absolute storm. Uh, you've you're yeah, you, you, you. You're, you're getting you're, you're getting you're a busy lad uh, coming back as we say out of COVID. Fingers crossed that uh, everything will keep going. Yeah, the, the God, the diary's filling up here. Uh, I don't I don't my first show back in the orchard here, uh, just beside me here in Cavan here, uh, three or two weeks ago. And God, it was it was it was a stuffed it was a stuffed place outside. I'll tell you, there was they, they never left the floor. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it, it's great to see great to see that buzz, and it gives you a great incentive to get back, you know. And we done the first night there, and it went very very well. And we were over in Kerry Gallon last week there, and it was a, it was a storm too. So we're, we're heading away off down to uh, down to. Uh, then I'm at it uh, tomorrow night, and then we're down in Ballyconnell on an open air thing, and on on the football field in Ballyconnell. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah, and the phone hasn't stopped happening, this Jerry. So it's, it's not a bad sight. I must I must be doing something right. Yes, that is for sure. That is for sure. Eamon, listen, well well done, <laughs> well done at all. And uh, listen, I look forward to seeing you, catching you on stage someplace along the winding path when I when I get back around, uh, to Ireland around uh, uh, some of the places where where you play. Eamon, listen, continued success. It's been, uh, it's been lovely chatting to you. Thank you very much indeed, Joe, and thanks for having me on. And thanks to, to, a big thanks to all your listenership there too, and I hope they're all keeping very well and safe.